Hey guys, welcome back to Our Weather Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you enjoyed talking about movies, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about one of Netflix's newest films, The Woman in the Window. <laughs> So this is review number five out of this jam-packed movie release weekend. Your girl is tired. It is late. It is past my bedtime, you guys. You're probably not going to see this till tomorrow on Monday. The Woman in the Window is actually based off of a novel of the same name. I haven't um, read the book or listened to it because I'm big audible. We do have a great cast starting off with the lead, Amy Adams. And then everybody else is pretty much just a small role. They're really not within the movie a whole lot. Uh, some of them are just in the beginning so I'm popping here and there and honestly it really shouldn't even have had this big of a cast it probably should have just been Amy Adams they had some other maybe less known actors Julianne Moore Gary Oldman who are the other bigger um stars in the film their talents are honestly wasted I feel within this movie we also have Brian Tui Henry and Wyatt Russell starring in the movie so like I said we are following Adams who is a drug addicted well prescription drug addictive if that makes it any better um alcoholic um agoraphobic child therapist wow that was a mouthful who pretty much spends her time just looking out the window hence the title of the movie she really is spying on her neighbors so of course she witnesses a murder across the street julianne moore which i don't think that's a, a no that's not a, a spoiler that was part of the trailer you guys um so yeah she witnesses um a murder across the street um but because of her mental state the police do not believe what she says she saw it kind of starts giving you that thrilling of wait is it in her mind? Is it not in her mind? What's going on? She's trying to get clues. And we really are within this story um, with Anna of trying to figure out what's happening, what's real, what isn't real. Um, I'm not going to lie. The movie is a bit predictable. Um, I pretty much got who the killer was. Um, it was between that one and somebody else, but I kind of always circled back to this particular one just because of things that were happening in the, earlier in the film. I'm just like, I don't know. You kind of suspect me. The movie does have some really nice cinematography, not throughout the whole film, but there are certain parts of it that's really nice, especially this one particular like living room scene. I really didn't hate the movie, you guys. I don't know if it's coming across to me like disliking the film, but I really didn't. I really didn't. Um, honestly, after I saw the movie, I did see like two reviews. I normally don't do that until after I do my review, but I was very curious because I had seen a lot of these thumbnails with very disappointing faces so just know that the movie itself does tend to have a lot of negative reviews more negative than positive i mean the movie you guys is not great by any means necessary but it's not terrible i'm just really here in the middle my sister enjoyed it i thought it was an enjoyable movie i started really late at night so i kind of started it and I was like, maybe I shouldn't have started the damn movie because I was like really sleepy. But then like, I just couldn't turn it off, you guys. And sometimes I do turn off a movie, but it just, it really kept intriguing me on what was happening with Anna, what was happening with, you know, the neighbors and what was real, what wasn't real. Like, was this all in her head or did it actually happen? So before I do give you my score, of course, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. I am trying to hit 400 subscribers before the end of the month because it is my birthday month and I would love it if you can help me reach that goal. So with all that said, uh, regardless of the negative reviews, uh, both on YouTube, on Instagram, the low stars that it has on Letterboxd, I'm going to give it a medium popcorn. Very proud medium popcorn, you guys. They have their opinion. I have my opinion. And you can make up your decision on uh, how you feel about the movie, whether you want to pass on it or give it a shot. If you have seen The Woman in the Window, let me know down below. What did you guys think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Is this something that you're planning on watching? Is it something you're planning on skipping? Have you read the book? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.